talk radio with him. Yeah. yeah. We're on? Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, uh, so I'm going to demo the working of the press. Right now, you press the two buttons, one on each side, safety feature, and the two hands. Start to press both buttons. You can see it's set to go slow right now. You can adjust the up and down speed with it. And how long it holds the foot, and how long it comes, and how quickly it comes down. So there, okay, I'll show again. This time it's going slowly up. You can set it to a lot slower than this if you want as well. It goes up. The machine is holding it uh, under pressure. So it's like on the pipe and it releases it. I'm going to speed up the machine. It goes a lot faster up this time. Okay, it's going a lot faster than that yet. It's showing the speeds of it. And for how long it holds, so I think this time will increase the amount of time.
on the back here. I've got, I've got the safety panel off. There's normally a safety panel on the back here. You put in whatever mold you have, and, and this is totally covered. You've got exposure to your, uh, to your motor, to your uh, electrical for the motor that is all, is all sealed. Uh, the, the liquid can't get into it. You know, all, all your other hookups for everything. Uh, it's a 200 ton press, and uh, with the uh, with, 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 with all of the heating, cooling uh, plates on it, so on the replacement of, of this particular press uh, is is uh, right around fifty thousand dollars or someplace in that range. And, uh, and, and the, you know, currently the everything on it works except this gauge doesn't work we must have something in it and i don't have time right now to replace it but uh it's just a cheap gauge okay uh, so it's a it's a 200 ton press a uh, very small footprint the opening dimensions i believe it opens up to 16 inches in total and if you have these uh with, with these plates in it'll open up to 12 inches in total and uh, i think that's everything i should Really need to say about it. Okay. Okay. Oh, and I'll just do one more thing here. I'll just give it a bit more. I'll just turn it up a bit more so you can actually hear the motor working. Or the you can hear the motor make noise as it presses. So you know that it's it's putting out. Uh, there's a lot of pressure. It puts out the full 200 tons that it should be. Okay, and. Uh, the fuse box here for the main electrical panel. You've got uh, basically the only thing that, that can kind of go wrong in here is there's a uh, if you uh, I, I forget what it is. There's something that uh, if, if the motor needs to be reset, it's simply to press this this red red pop out right here. It just pushes it back in and it totally resets it resets the machine. And that's all that there really is to do. It's very uh, very simple straight straightforward this all programmable logic for all this to work. It's an uh, absolutely wonderful machine, had about 80 hours of use uh, since new and that's all that it's had. There's a good look at the controls. Alright, we should show from the backside the the heating and cooling, uh, and wiring and, and holes. So, so in, in the in the plates, you would have that the uh, li the plates are divided into two halves for cooling. Liquid would go in one side and out the other side on each half and on each plate, uh, the upper and lower plates. And these are the electrical for the heating. They they go in in on each probes go in or the the, the elements go in on each of the each of the uh, holes that are for that. So uh, it's a beautiful machine for anything with rubber, plastic, but, and you can remove that if you want to just use it as a press. That's it? Yep, that's it.